What's up guys? I am so excited today. Man, I couldn't even sleep last night. But we're out here in beautiful Santa Cruz, California, and we're gonna go jigging for rock cod. But I'm super excited today because, one, I'm gonna use this rod and reel combination right here. I got this from QI, and they make some beautiful fishing equipment. They're a local San Francisco Bay Area company. It's made out of carbon fiber, they're Fuji guides, 130 yards of 40 pound braid on here. It should be fun. Crazy light, it's stupid light. Oh my goodness. But yeah, man, I was so excited last night. Couldn't even sleep. Big swells over there, right at the mouth. I don't even know if it's a good idea for me to hold this camera right now. Oh man, look at look at them. All right, here we go. Out with Danny and Daryl, and it's their first time in Santa Cruz. Is that bottom? Oh, Ooh, I'm free. Ooh. Oh, got a nibble. The underwater current was pretty strong, pulling my line to the left and under the boat. And here's what it looked like under the water. You can see how fast and how much debris is just being blown. Every time, every time. There's one. Oh no. There's one. Oh no. No. That was a good hit. Let's get back down there. What was that? It's on. What is this? What is this? It doesn't feel like a huge one. This rod's so light that it felt like a big hit, but I don't think it is. This my fish. Oh, okay, not bad. Oh, not bad. Look, it bit on the tube. Yeah. Pretty little fish, though. Look at all those patterns on it. So people oftentimes get confused about yellow eyes and vermilions. And three of the easiest ways for for me to tell is that yellow eyes have a yellow eye, obviously, which vermilions don't and vermilions don't have any dark spots on their fins and vermilions have a gray spotted pattern along with a bright orange. Hey, it matches, matches my jacket. That's what I wanted to figure out whether or not they still bite on this tube without any swim bait action and I guess so. All right, let's get back down there. Another bite. What is this? What is this? Ah, a little ling. Alright. Well then. Hello, dude. There you go. Well, there's one. Ah, it's off. Snap, mola mola. Oh, did you see it? Ooh. 
Look at that big fin just flopping. That's a big mola mola. It's huge. Seriously. Oh my goodness. How deep is it here? 130 feet. Sheesh. Got a fish on the line and it looks like a starry rockfish here. But with that said, good night because this underwater camera just died. Is that a canary? Oh yeah. Let's a movie star! Oh yeah, dude, that's huge. Oh man, nice fish, Daryl. Thank you, thank you. Just gotta yell at him. That's it. Yo, 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 behind you, behind you. Oh, that's a good one. You got one too? Came off? Ah. What's that? Me? I don't know. I thought I felt something just now too. Was that you? You got one? Yeah. Nice one? <laughs> That's a fat olive. Yeah, he's like, eh, it's nothing. This is, this is what happens. That's a, well, this is a spot. It's a good drift. Yeah, not bad. There we go. There we go. Oh, yeah. Whatever this is. Uh, I mean, it's, it's okay. It's better than nothing. <laughs> oh yeah. Finally, some action. Right? That's another nice olive. There we go. We ran across a good school of olives. Oh, this would be a great live bait though. Decent little olive rockfish. Uh, the olive hit the black cherry, and the blue hit the green pumpkin. That's so red. Well, maybe now they're feeding. Yeah, That's so a lunar calendar or something. Like yep. Oh yeah. So maybe they are feeding now. Oh man, come on, dude. Oh. <laughs> well, you wanted to catch Ling today. <laughs> Not that one. That's true, huh? I wonder if they don't have a swim bladder? They've got a. But... Let's see, can I get him out without getting bit? You don't need the pliers? Alright, alright. Alright. Ooh, swim way fast. Funny man, right when I don't have the underwater cameras on anymore, then they all start hitting. Yep, there's a bite. Yep. Yeah. Unless, nope, come on. Yeah, this guy's kind of heavy. He didn't fight though. Now he's shaking a little bit. Wonder what it is. Probably a close to a keeper ling maybe. And then he's probably gonna get to the surface and try to. Ah. Yeah. Oh, a bunch of lings here. Oh, top one. The pumpkin, the green. Later. Yeah, yeah. Feel that. That there's fish right there. 
There. Oh, that's a nice one. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. Yep, that's going to need a net for that one. A little ways. It's, it's fine. That hit pretty hard. Oh, that's a good ling. <laughs> yeah, it's tiring bringing it up from 120 feet. Oh my, wait, is that, that's not even a ling. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Dude. So uh, you guys like Santa Cruz now? <laughs> Jeez. These reds are biting. I guess we might have to make another drift, huh? Oh, there's a bite. There's a bite. That's fat. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> we end up getting a few more rockfish, including this copper and then another huge vermilion before we started heading back. I'm at a senior center and I'm gonna visit my grandma. And today I'm gonna to bring this huge rockfish that we caught, and I'm gonna cook for it. Let's go. Mama, I think you're the same. No, I don't. Girls, uh. We're gonna cook for her. Hello? Good? No, good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, my turn. Mm. Holy, holy. Mm -hmm. Good? <laughs> We're gonna enjoy the rest of this meal. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs>